And now, taking the stage, we have uh, returning guest, Brett Gleason. Destruction was beautiful. Cold grays and reds planned to burn like the sunset was sinking. To invisible means, but my lies are so far away. My paintings will fade someday, and I'll sound the siren. And I'll wave the flag of serenity just spit out what your eyes were too large to see and indulge my desire to steamroll right over you don't need you here to help clean up this mess Destruction was bountiful. Spent the days away in a deep and dark, deluded haze. We saw this bitter air, every anything but feeling cold for deal with what is real. Obstructions I put in my way so long as I have. Something about which to complain Destruction distracts Fills no holes in the soil you cracked, and obstructions detract from cleaning up this mess you have. The war zone's not beauty's home. Just turn your back and leave it alone. Welcome, welcome, hey. welcome, welcome. Hey, JC. Right, Glad to have to you back. Good to see you. Have Thanks a seat. Uh, and we're going to give you the handheld mic. Special cameo by Kara. <laughs> oh, look at the wobbly. <laughs> testing, having, testing. One, two, three, testing. <laughs> Hi. Thanks for coming back. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. It's always nice having you here. As always. So, <laughs> new song? Uh, yeah, I just played Destruction. It's going to be my new single off of uh, my next EP. Uh, right now, I'm just offering it on my website, uh, brickleason.com, but uh, you can also get it free on my Facebook page. So, right. what do are that. Some, what are some <laughs> of the? Uh, because I mean, as an artist, you're very, very different from from a lot of people within the genre, and and I oftentimes wonder, especially after listening to your music, the things that inspire you as a writer. Sure. Um, well, you know, a lot of times it's uh, sort of internal struggles, 
usually in my songs I I sort of present myself with an argument and there are two sides and I try to play out each side uh, equally so very rarely is there a resolution mm -hmm. but there's always a good conflict it's it's great that music has that that therapeutic effect that it really you know it allows you to really emote Sure. A well, of, a lot of this in language, everything is black and white. It's mm -hmm. always about dualities. It's this or it's that. But you know, emotions don't work that way. Emotions are more complex, and reality is more complex. Right. So, uh, you know, songs are a good way to sort of uh, fill in the space between words. Right, and you dig pretty deep. Mm. I, t I will thank you. I'll take yes, that as you, a compliment. You, <laughs> you holds no bar with your with your lyrics, and especially like you know, with with how complex your your arrangements are. They're oh, really thank quite you. profound. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Well, you know, life is. Life is profound and complex, and so are we. Absolutely. How does this one differ from uh, The Dissonance, which is the first album, right? Sure, yeah. The Dissonance was my first EP. Um, well, the thawing is more vulnerable. It's, um, it's also slightly bleak, but hopeful. <laughs> it's, um, I'd like to think that it's, um, it's a little more personal, maybe a little more, um, more immediately mm. accessible emotionally. Mm. Um, there's a lot more piano, there's some strings. Um, I'm really sort of trying to be a little more, um, wear my heart on my sleeve, I suppose, mm. is the phrase. Okay. So. Yeah, definitely, definitely putting it out there. Mm. Sure, well, you know, what's the point of making music if it doesn't really make you think and feel, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I could just sing a, a jingle from a commercial or, you know. Well, that could be fun too. <laughs> sure, I mean, you know, I, those, uh, you know, price-free uh, uh, <laughs> credit check commercials are pretty good, um, but you know, anyone can do that stuff. What what comes fir first with your music, Brett? Is it the lyric that influences the way the song is going to sound, or is it, or do you hear, or do you hear more the uh, the music and then it the, the lyric informs that? Um, sort of both. You know, okay. they feed off of each other. I usually start at the piano. I start with a riff or an idea, mm. and I start with a line. And um, yeah. you know, it's you just sort of keep adding on to there. It's like um, the further you dig, the more right. things there are to dig out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, it's 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 almost never ending. Yeah, absolutely. And you just sort of have to decide. Okay, four minutes. Here we are. Hmm. If you didn't come to a conclusion, you probably won't. <laughs> well, and and to that and to that effect, doesn't doesn't Brett's music sound like a musical? Like when you hear it, doesn't it almost like you, you imagine almost like the soundtrack it's to a movie it's in your very, head? Well, I'm a visu very visual listener, mm -hmm. and it does inspire that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like, you know, I, I don't really uh, follow the musical world, but I, I love rock operas and I love Queen and yeah. the Smashing Pumpkins and all these larger than life bands that really created a sort of epic sound that would, um, it sort of made you feel things you didn't know you were capable mm -hmm. of feeling or um, didn't want to be capable of feeling. <laughs> right. um, so, you know, I like that sort of grandiose uh, feel. I, I think that's appropriate. I think right. we all feel big things. Right, absolutely, and and Queen was so, it has had that drama. Mm -hmm. A lot of those artists, which which is your music is very dramatic. Sure, right. you know. you're you're painting yeah. you're painting a picture with yeah. with with uh, words and music, and yeah. that's that's an incredible gift. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing more powerful than the combination of words and music. You know, sound and and language. It's where it all started and where it all end. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always wonder, especially like you know, because because when we see you perform, it's it's almost as if it's like, it's it's a uh, it's a selfish treat, I think, but it's like you know how people respond in a in a sitting. Uh, they must be riveted just listening to what what you're doing. Uh, do you ever get like someone like really angry or responds really angry to something that you're uh, that you're doing? No, I think the worst response I've ever gotten is indifference. <laughs> oh, because yeah. I would you know it's like it's you know I, if, if I someone would, wants to riot and throw like, some chairs yeah. after a performance of mine, I'm all for it. It's like sometimes like you know music can like really like move you in that emotional way, and your music yeah. has that that very forceful. Powerful. You know, it's also very masculine. That's another way I, I kind of like. Hmm. Um, relate to your music, despite being vulnerable, because my music well, is very vulnerable. Is that it masculine? Is, it is, but there's also a lot of like you know, there there seems to be a lot of masculine resonance in a lot hmm. of your, in a lot of your. That's interesting. You know, I feel like a lot of the best music has been written by artists who male artists who really aren't afraid to show their their vulnerable female side. Absolutely, I mean, yeah. you have Led Zeppelin and you oh, know David yeah, Bowie yeah. and all of those artists. You know. It was these men who uh, who could access all of the different emotions, not just the strictly masculine, you know, and that's really what makes for a well-rounded song. Right. So. Right. Well, everyone always has a very uh, their own unique. Everyone attaches their own unique thing to to whatever they're listening to, and that's also a great compliment to your mm. to your art. That 
everyone's gonna have a different story sure. or pick up something different from yeah it. I'm, I'm hoping for extreme responses <laughs> either way as long as no one throws any sharp objects yeah you can use my twitter handle at breck leeson to, to yell at me or throw things at me <laughs> if i've so inspired you to okay so that's one one way to reach you sure yeah i love i love social media i'm big on twitter i'm on tumblr i'm facebook is the big one because i'm giving out some music through there okay. uh, like the track's not even up on itunes yet but on my facebook page you can get it um okay. Yeah, and there should be a video like in the next few days. So definitely Ooh. now is the time to follow me because you will get the video first. And, and possibly a follow back. <laughs> the Smashing Pumpkins followed me back recently. So. Oh, that's great. <laughs> just putting that out there. That's really, but that, it, I mean, it's just Not changed. dropping names or anything Well, like yeah, that. But, it's, but it's just really has changed. The, the, the internet has sure. so much changed the way an artist relates to the world at large. And, yeah. And, um, you know, especially now with all those rules they're trying to enforce on the internet, it must be really frustrating to like know that you know someone's trying to squash those things. Who knows, <laughs> you know, pr trying to protect copyright is great, but uh, you know, trying to connect people is sort of even more important, right. at least mm -hmm. at this point in my career. Right. The world's so, getting smaller. You know, yeah. when I'm one of the big guys, I'll try to squash all the little guys like that, but not yeah. now. Oh, as gosh. long as when you're one of the, you know, I mean, when you're one of the big guys, you better be on that couch again. <laughs> oh, absolutely, <laughs> for sure, you know. It's, it's always great to have you. Yeah, thank you very yeah, much, JC, yeah, thank absolutely. you, John. It's you great to be again, here. the websites? Oh, BreckLeeson.com and uh, Twitter at BreckLeeson, BreckLeeson Fan on Facebook, and Tumblr, BreckLeeson Music. Okay. I'll see you there. Relatively straightforward <laughs> and simple. Yeah, <laughs> not trying to fool anyone. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.